Hey, it's Keith from the E Framework Pro. <laughs> just, I'm a little fired up here. I just got back from my workout. Hey, today I want to talk to you about the Stream Deck and programming a button. Just a simple button on the Stream Deck. Uh, is there anybody out there that does not know what a Stream Deck is? I don't want to. Yeah, well, you know. In case you do, whether you do or you don't, here you go. <laughs> We're just going to take a little look. There's the actual Stream Deck interface. And here is my iPhone. There's the Stream Deck right there on my desk. My little system here, but there's the Stream Deck right there. And each one of these keys do something. For instance, this key is the back scene key, which goes back to my screen share, which then goes back to me, solo, then back to the screen share, then back to the iPhone camera where I'm showing the Stream Deck. So we're going to program a key. We're going to fly in the logo today, the logo that's in the, the little right corner, E framework, and I'm going to show you how to do that. When you highlight a key, for instance, if I were to highlight that one, then it shows me all the things I can do. I can actually bring in my MP3, which is, a, that's a little jingle that I recorded in Logic Pro for anybody that wants to know. And um, I just call it moving forward. And it actually puts the title up here so you can type the title in. But today let's program, let's fly that logo in. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this key right here. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete and we can just do it from scratch. Now over here is my e, um, Ecamm Live interface and it shows all the different keys that you can just actually drag in to each position, each open position, or you can drag any key into and it'll supersede the key and just write over the, the button program that you have in there already. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do the show and hide overlay. So we're going to drag that in and drop it. And so I'm going to name that EFP, stands for eFramework Pro, my business title. And then uh, what I can do also is I can make that EFP, you can see it right here, I can make that bigger. So right now it's at a nine point, so I'm going to bump that up to like a 15 point. And that's actually happening in real time uh, on my Stream Deck. So if I show you the Stream Deck here, and we look at this key here, that's the one we're working on. So if you watch that little EFP, if I can keep my hand steady here, I can shrink that down or I can make it bigger just by. And then also what I can also do here is I can picture, well, I have to go back in my screen share so you can see what I'm talking about. So there's, you can actually put a picture, for instance, Ecamm has a photo there. And I have Microsoft Word and just little thumbnails that you can just drop in there if you want to just reprogram um, your photo. And so, and basically, I mean, let's just do that. So if I were to go here and I'll choose from a file, just the file that's on my computer, and I go to the desktop, I know that I have a little screenshot. Well, there it is of the logo and it made it a little bit bigger. Um, anyway, so you can do that too with the key. So now also with the overlay, I want to choose what to do. I can choose the button actions. Well, in this instance, what I want to do is I want to actually work with the logo. I want to turn the logo on and off. So now that we have that key programmed, if I were to press the key, then you'll see in the lower right hand corner, the logo flies in. And so I turn that on, turning it on, on and off like that. There's a key that I have programmed for where I can show and hide myself in the lower left hand corner or anything that I want to do. But uh, with all these keys here, it's it's just like sticky keys. If, if you're familiar with that uh, terminology, sticky keys uh, on a keyboard, you can program your keyboard just to hit a key and it'll just do one thing, like open a file. And I believe in uh, I used to not. I used to be a big cutter of video, and I still do. I still work with Final Cut Pro, but I leave. I believe in pre-production as opposed to post-production because it just it's a time saver. Anyway, so 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to program a key in the Stream Deck and specifically an overlay and how to turn that on and off. Uh, for more tips, like and subscribe, and we shall talk to you later. Take care. Bye.